Hi, it's Diane here with your Joy Tip of the Week. And I just wondered, do you know what day it is today? Today is Giving Tuesday. And one of the best ways to choose joy is to give generously. I firmly believe that. But sometimes I think we're short-sighted short in knowing all that we have to offer as, as we give generously. Um, so I would like to take a look today at some different ways that you can give generously, which will absolutely enable you to choose joy. So the first is with your time. Um, so many people today feel like they're too busy. And I don't care if you're six or 86. I don't care if you have three jobs or are a part-time worker. I don't care if you serve on seven committees. Whoever you are, everyone is busy. <laughs> and everyone can carve out time um, for something that they make a priority. And so you can give of your time. You can volunteer. You can find something to be committed to. Maybe it's just helping out a neighbor with some uh, time that you have to offer. You have time to give, and that is something that you can give generously. Another option is to give of your talent. Um, one of my favorite uh, people that I follow, her name is Marie Fol Forleo, and she always says, the world needs that special gift that only you have. And I do believe that God has created each of us with very special and unique gifts. He's created you to be that puzzle piece in the greater picture of the world um, that needs to fit into God's plan for the world because you've got certain gifts and talents. And so think about what you have to offer um, as far as your gifts and talents go as you give generously. Um, can you? Are you artistic? Is there something that you can do um, in order to help someone along musically? Um, can you go to a, a nursing home or a um, children's home or someplace like that and sing or play the piano? Um, can you, you know, one of the things that I did, I, I'm a computer geek. So one of the things that I've done is volunteer to run the computer at church because that can be daunting for some others. And for me, it's kind of natural. So that's one of my gifts, I believe. Um, you know, think of the different talents you have, whether you're a baker um, and you can offer to bake goods for people in need who might be hungry, whether you're a mechanic and can volunteer to offer your services to people who can't afford a mechanic. Um, there's just so many different ways that you can give of your talents. So give of your time, give of your talents, and yes, of course, you can give of your treasure. Um, you know, God loves a cheerful giver, and so many uh, charitable organizations out there are looking for donations to further their work. So that's obviously a great way to give. But think of other treasures that you may have to offer. Whether you're downsizing and you have furniture or, um, you know, different things in your home that you can give. There are so many different ways to give other than just writing that check. And I know that every way you give is a way that will bless someone and will be a picture, part of that picture um, puzzle that God has in mind for the whole world. And the part that you play is that puzzle piece. So if, if you're not aware, today, as I said, is Giving Tuesday. Um, it started in 2012. Here in the U.S., we celebrate Thanksgiving on the third Thursday of November. And then for some reason, it came along that the best shopping day of the year was going to be the Friday after that for Christmas shopping. So that became Black Friday. And then, you know, the, the small businesses wanted to get involved. So we have Shop Small Saturday. And then, of course, as the Internet came along, we started with Cyber Monday on the following Monday. And then in 2012, a couple of charitable organizations came along and came up with the first Tuesday after Thanksgiving is now Giving Tuesday. So find a way to give on Giving Tuesday, whether it's of your time, of your talent, or of your treasure. And when you do give generously, you'll find that it's easier to choose joy. So tell us in the comments, um, how are you going to give of yourself this week, whether it's your time or your talent or your treasure? Tell us, uh, and it may spark ideas for us to give of ourselves as well. Give of yourself in some way this week, and you will find that you can choose joy. It doesn't simply happen to us, but joy uh, is something that we have to choose. We have to choose the things that help us to choose joy every single day. So thanks for joining me today for Giving Tuesday, and let's hear from you. How are you going to give of yourself this week to commemorate Giving Tuesday? Thanks, everybody. Have a good day. Bye-bye.